They've been trying to... They've been trying to seduce me with other robots. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to What's On Your Feet. Our first guest is Maria Navash. She's an illustrator from Porto, Portugal. Here she be. Here you are. What do you want to know? What's on my feet? I tell you what's on my feet. That's none of your business. Oh, oh no. You want to know what I've been seeing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh. have you been watching? Let's As go through it. As you can see, this is YouTube. I can see cats. Oh, uh, you will see cats. Oh, we're friends. I know you love cats. I knew this would happen. <laughs> and they love me. <laughs> I have to share my latest. I found this Dust channel. Do you know it? It's with sci-fi shorts. All right. No. And oh, I'm... No pretty much addicted to it. You have a lot of sci-fi stuff, a lot of mediums, so 3D, animation. Oh, cool. And they're pretty interesting, yeah. So you, from different directors you, and stuff? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I sometimes go to this fascinating horror. <laughs> okay, okay. It's <laughs> a pretty cool channel too. <laughs> That's it's nice. about historical tragedies, you know, theme park disasters. What's not like? Oh yeah, fascinating. See. Actually, fascinating. It's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, it is. It kind of is. Sounds like you're <laughs> learning a lot. <laughs> oh, recently I have yeah. watched the documentary AlphaGo. AlphaGo, yeah, mind. I see it. Yeah, it's yeah. Mind. Yeah, it's kind of like the Kasparov versus computers thing with the chess, but with Go. That was yeah. a game that I wasn't sure how it was played. So I started to dig a little bit just to try yeah. to understand how is it more complex than chess. And yeah, it is. Did you learn how you play the game? Barely. I know the basic, basic, basic rules, but the rest I, I can't even imagine how to establish a strategy with that. And I don't yeah, want yeah, yeah. to imagine, really. They were saying that there's a lot of like a human component to the game and, from, and they didn't yeah, expect the... From what I understand, you have to conquer territory, so you have to close down spaces of the board, but there's right. a lot of rules and exceptions that, that you... It's it's a mind fun. Oh yeah, so, yeah, it's, yeah. It's confusing, like Texas. <laughs> 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 then you have the Deep Mind, it's also a cool channel for technology and stuff. Oh, awesome. So you've been digging uh, into AI. Let me see. Yeah, recently. Yeah. Why? Is, is, is it just for fun? Oh, or? Of course, it's just for fun. I'm not a scientist, you know that. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> fun about that. I'm not going to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> it's just for fun. <laughs> so let me see what's more. I'll uh, stand up. Oh, yeah. Here, this channel is cool. If you want to learn to play Go, uh, right. this guy will teach you. Let me see what's more. Uh, my feet. Oh, yeah. The, the recent Boston Dynamics stuff. Oh, it's... Yeah, so pretty cool video. Funny yeah, and they, amazing. They, they, since I saw that, they've been trying to... They've been trying to seduce me with other robots. <laughs> <laughs> but I still, I still think... I still think the uprising is coming, you know? But they, yeah. they, they, they are giving me videos like, Oh, they're so cool. They're so cute. Look at that. If you like the Boston robots, you yeah. love this. I, mean, yeah. I know what they're up to. Yeah, those sexy, sexy robots. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at that ass. <laughs> There's a channel I'd like to talk about. Yeah. That is Park Ride History. It's about just the philosophy of how, how to build a theme park and the attractions, specific attractions for the theme parks. Wow. And it's pretty cool. Yeah. They go to the evolution of Spaceship Earth. That's an attraction in a, in a theme park. In Disney parks also, there's a lot of stuff about Disney parks here too. And I don't know, it amuses me. <laughs> also this year, Art of Engineering. It also has a lot of stuff about theme parks. And I don't oh, know why, there. but I've been attracted. Yeah. Maybe, may, may, maybe it's the quarantine, but I've been attracted to stuff about the theme parks. <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 what's, what, what's it about, about I quarantine? Just, I just go about... I just go about sniffing on, on, you, on YouTube, you know, and oh, it <laughs> smells funny here, and I go. Oh, yeah, and right. <laughs> right, right. Oh, the, you're going to love this series. <laughs> this is all about that. <laughs> <laughs> sniffing to other people's channels. I think we got the name so for the show, the actual name. <laughs> exactly. They have a lot of cool stuff here. Oh, Force Perspective, I love this one. It's about how they use the... to trick people in the park to think some things are bigger and... Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you. of when, course they do that. When you get to the attraction, it's... Yeah, yeah, of course they do. <laughs> you've, you've been into huge, huge things. <laughs> like... <laughs> And like I know in, nothing. And the engineering uh, uh, theme park attractions and uh, dating <laughs> robots, maybe, possibly, hopefully. 
<laughs> in the near, in the very near future. <laughs> that's kind of oh, that's another one that I talked to you about the Lindsay Ellis. Lindsay. It's about uh, movies. I really like her. She's funny. She's knowledgeable. She really has an opinion and her own opinion. Wow, well, this seems like essays on movies and yeah, it's people. Kind of, uh, and... Movies and Disney. Uh, she also has a big thing with Disney. But, uh, it's worth it, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Wow. I didn't know any of this. Oh, do you know the Bart Court? Of course you know. No, I don't, I don't know what... Oh, you will love it. Because this is medieval contemporary music. So contemporary music played with medieval instruments. Oh. Uh, okay. Bard card is a thing on the internet right now. There are a lot of channels. There you go. There's Conan right there. Oh, Conan's always present. John Oliver, obviously. Oh, barely sociable. Yeah. It's like internet mysteries and stupid stuff, you know? Like these VHS tapes from the 90s that no one knows with strange cartoons. These are weird, man. It's are really wow. weird. Yeah, niche internet stuff. I think I'm missing something. Oh, I'll guess no breaks. You know this guy, right? Yeah, yeah, it's insane. It's amazing. It's insane. <laughs> All his documentaries are pretretty cool and funny and weird and yeah. all that stuff. Oh, Nexpo. Oh, there's also Nexpo. Uh, Nexpo is also, it's also a cool channel. Also internet mysteries, but mm, very related with old school gaming and stuff like that mysteries in old school gaming is I know this is niche but uh... yeah it seems like you've been digging through the internet I've been in places man you've been <laughs> some... <laughs> I've seen some stuff you've seen stuff yeah so a sense also about stupid things and art and weird things in art like liminal spaces you know what it is I didn't no. Uh, it's about Wait. the backgrounds of stuff. Ja I know, I know. Yeah, I the know. guy has very specific things. Here he makes an exercise that he cleans up toy boxes like Playmobil set, takes out the Playmobiles and just focus on the background. And it's really weird. If you just focus on the background of, I don't know, games and, and toys and whatever, because someone made it. You, you mean so the illustrations? It had to be thought. Uh -huh. The illustrations, yeah. Oh, okay, the cool. other one that I love was this, when art restoration goes south and <laughs> you think he's going to, to say, oh, these guys are completely out of their minds. You know, the, right. the botched restoration of the, of the Jesus. Yeah. But in the end, it just turns it around and gives a very personal perspective. And yeah, it, it's a good critique. It's funny because a lot of your recommendations are similar to mine, actually. Like some of <laughs> them... In the bottom. Where in the bubble? The bubble. The bubble. Yeah. You didn't talk about oh, cats. That, that's worrying me. That's troublesome that you're not talking about yeah. cats. Yeah, yeah. Because I, talk, I talked about cats in, in the beginning, so I, sh I should end with cats, right? You definitely should. So this is a um, small docu-series that uh, Shiva is making, the cat food brand. And it's about the cats that rule the world. And so the first episode just melted my heart because it's about how cats in prisons, they just are fundamental for the mental well-being of prisoners and they get really affected to the, to the cats. When they get out, they try to adopt them and they are really, really a big part of their, um, their recovery. Well, not, not recovery. Yeah, I see. I uh, yeah. And see these big guys with tattoos and murderers and whatever, they, and they just spend the day with cats. And the second episode is also about a cat in the military, a guy that was in the military and was very, very affectionate to the cat and just kind of saved him from PTSD and all, all this, that stuff. And these are really small dogs, just 15 minutes, 20, about these cats. That's so really cool. that's the cat segment. That's really yeah, cool. That, that's all, really all. smart of Shiba, the brand. Yeah, because you don't see Shiba anywhere in the documentary, except in the beginning and, and at the end, <laughs> in the credits. Yeah, well, you look at stuff uh, related to cats, but it's not like videos of cute cats, not stuff like that. Like... No, no, it's no, it's related to cats in a more humane way. They're not just the funny things that run around. Definitely, it's yeah. About the, it's about the connection. Yeah, yeah. totally. It's more than that. They don't objectify cats. <laughs> can we wrap up with a top five? This can be creators, channels, or particular video. So I have one for movies, Lindsay Ellis. I have one for humor and parts documentary. That's all guys, no breaks. For documentaries, uh, real stories. Uh, for art and um, weird stuff, you have Solar Sands. 
Oh, and dust for all things sci-fi. Oh, great. Yeah. You're a very diverse could... person. <laughs> Not really. It's just <laughs> horrible stuff from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that was very cool. Thank you very much, Mariana. I'm gonna give you the present of my absence now. Oh. <laughs> that, bye, was, that was cool. Thank you. Keep it going. Bye bye. 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 You, you got to shut it down now. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll put some... <laughs> shut I'll it down, some, some stuff. Shut it down, <laughs> It's already dead. Okay. <laughs> You're a terrible host. Terrible, okay. terrible host. Terrible hosting job. <laughs>